got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Basically, the check and adjust feature is a tool to do a user calibration of the instrument. To measure with high precision, total stations have to fulfill specific requirements of the rotational axis, in particular regarding the alignment of those axes. Meeting these requirements is a tough task during manufacturing. Even the most careful and precise assembly process will result in small deviations which can lead to so-called instrument errors. These instrument errors, like the horizontal collimation error, tilting axis error or vertical index error, can affect the measurements and therefore lead to wrong results if they are not properly considered. At the end of the manufacturing process, any instrument errors are carefully determined and adjusted so that the measurement results are correct and reliable. Over time, stress due to temperature changes, shock, vibrations, etc., means that the errors, and therefore the correction values, have to be redetermined from time to time to guarantee the best measurement performance. Why suspicious? So, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon, but I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, cause I know that we didn't go to the moon. What if you swore in the Bible that you walked on the moon? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. And how about those moon rocks they gave to museums? And thousands and thousands of people did see them. But one museum took a closer look. They soon realized that something's afoot. The rock they were given turned out to be a fake. Just a piece of old wood, not a rock from space. Yeah, when God made the moon, he saw it was good. But apparently made it from petrified wood. Hmm. Yeah, that's suspicious. Listen up. In another museum sits an astronaut suit. Take a good look at the tread on the boot. It doesn't match up with the prints on the moon. And y'all still believe what they're telling you? Or how about that phone call that Nixon made to the moon that's a quarter million miles away? When I can't get a signal on my cell phone line, I guess phones were better in 69. Hmm. Well... Do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon, but I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, cause I know that we didn't go to the moon. And it certainly has to be the most historic telephone call yeah, you went straight through those Van Allen belts. It wasn't a problem, right? Nothing was felt. But now you say it's a problem and you can't get through. This problem needs to be solved, according to you. But didn't you solve that problem back in 69 and you flew straight through them five more times? Uh, you wonder why I think it's fake when there are so many Apollo mistakes like the telemetry data that's all gone missing. 13,000 reels, are you kidding? A giant leap for all mankind, but you lost the data and no one can find. Hmm. Come on, man.